Welcome back to the channel. I'm Rochelle. This is Brampton Gardener and today we're going to be talking about starting some more seeds. So call this what you want. Succession planting, fall garden. Um, I plan on doing succession planting and I am a couple weeks behind. I should I should have been doing that um, a little bit sooner. My cilantro, my beans. Uh, we just have had a really cool spring and so it's kind of just taken longer for everything to take off. But I, I, I really need to get those started. And I've been debating a fall garden. Now I did, I tried a fall garden the last two years. I was influenced by you, you Southern YouTubers and um, it did not, it did not go well. Like things grew, but I never, I did not get any produce out of any of the stuff I planted for my fall garden because it just, we just did not have a long enough season. And up here in the North, like our days start getting short really, really quickly. And so that just really slows down the growth. So I was not planning on doing a fall garden this year. I was like, nope, not gonna do it, not gonna bother. But then, my husband has talked about maybe um, setting up the greenhouse for the whole winter. Um, not with heat in it, but just kind of as a place we can set it up out here and then throughout the winter, you know, on a day that's kind of a bit warmer and nice and sunny, you can come out in a hoodie and just, or jacket and sit in the chair and read or something. It's just really nice to be able to be outside. Um, we really enjoyed that when we had it set up at the beginning of the season before it was all full of plants. So he's thinking maybe it'd be kind of fun to just to have it um, year round you know put a light in it you can put a heater only to use like while you're out there in it um, so it's not gonna be heated space so it will be more of a cold frame um, you could say over the winter but that would really extend the season for a lot of like the cold um, hardy plants and brassicas so I'm rethinking I'm rethinking maybe doing some but if I did them I would have to do them in um, either the um, five gallon bucket or grow bag for those the season extending ones. So I'm still kind of debating on that. So today we're just gonna go out and we're gonna drop some seeds. Um, I have a bag here of random seeds. So things I'm gonna be dropping more seeds for are some sunflowers. So my last frost date, my first frost date is technically I think October 15th. The last two years we haven't had a frost until November 7th. So even at um, October 15th, I think that gives me, was like a hundred and some days um, left. So I should have enough. These say 80 to 90 days on these sunflowers. So this sunflower I have evening sun and then I have a lemon one. I also wanted to try the Mexican mint marigolds. Give them a little shot. Things should germinate and grow really fast in the heat that we're having. Um, and then I got a lot of beans. So I got some Scarlet Runner beans. And I'm gonna replace all the beans that I'd already started over in that section. Of course, lots more um, Calypso cilantro. Um, Paris Island Kos, which is supposed to be a more heat tolerant lettuce. So we're gonna sprinkle that in, probably around some of the tomatoes. And then, um, you know what? Let's do it. Let's try it again with the okra and see if we get some uh, rattlesnake beans. I'm gonna drop those. I'm gonna put them in a different container because they just got eaten alive and shaded out where they were at. And then I have a few more peas here. And I've done, um, oh yeah, I want to do the red shisho and maybe some beets. I don't know. I still have time for beets. This says days to maturity, 55 to 60 days. So I have time to start some beets. So I don't know, never grown beets. Um, I can't put them in the ground. I would definitely need somewhere that has a lot more um, loose soil than our hard clay. So I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I'll pop them in up and around by the, mm, no, the canna lilies get, might get way too big up there. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I don't know if you're like me, but I am a completely different plant mom when it comes to spring planting and then like middle of the summer. So spring planting, January, February, March, starting my seeds. I am like the first time mom, everything is particular and I watch over the babies and I check them out. Um, Midsummer mom is like, pfft, you know, I'm the mom that's had like six kids and can't be bothered and I'm just like, you know what? Planting your seeds out. They're not going they're not going under lights, they're not going in little fancy trays, they're getting planted out in the garden. What happens happens, they're on their own. Best of luck. Best of luck. I am might label though. I might I might throw in some labels. Or I might not. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Wind them up, set them free, go, go! Dexter, get your tail out of the ah. shot. Okay, so I did have some things in here and they did not do well. So 
we are going to start again. I'm going to try with this Mexican mint marigold in this container. And then I'm going to be doing, not sunflowers, nope, I'm going to be doing the lettuce. So Par Paris Island Cost, we're going to do in these two containers. Right, Dex? What are you eating? Okay. All right. I thought of doing some beets. Maybe I'll do some beets too because beets, um, this is probably totally crazy, but whatever, right? I got the seeds from the dollar store, whatever. The beet seeds are kind of cool looking. Put the sun on them. I don't know. No, <laughs> no, no, no. We're not gonna be eating them. So I'm gonna put two there. Dexter. Two in each hole. Oh, ah. He's kabonked his head on the camera. Did you kabonk your head? Stop kabonking. Okay, we're just gonna stick those down into the soil. And I mean, I have all the space here, right? Like, should be growing stuff. That's the thing about con container gardening. You just gotta cram it all in and hope for the best. That is my kind of gardening. Okay, and then over here, we are gonna go with the Mexican mix and marigold. Let's go this way and see what else. Uh, oh wait, we have one here that doesn't have anything. It died and we have a weed, so. All right, what should we try here? Should we try the cabbage? This could be kind of fun place to do cabbage. I'm not gonna do my cilantro along here because I don't want people to get confused. Oh, the red shisha. I don't want people to get confused between the cilantro and parsley when I send them out get herbs. There's not very many of these. Um, okay. It's a spicy Japanese green. All right. So Red Sea Show is in with the lemon. This is, this is how I'm labeling. <laughs> this is how we're labeling this time of year. You cannot be bothered. Okay. Little snake beans because I planted them back there <laughs> and I had no idea that they would get shaded out and eaten a lot. Okay. So I'm just going to put a handful of beans. Hill of beans. I'm going to put a handful of beans. Um, we're just going to stick them in here. And they can climb up this side of the arbor. Oh, well, look. There's some peas. I'm going to try one. I can't remember which. I have two different varieties. Oh my gosh. So good. So good. So the peas I have, I have sugar snap and I have, why is it so close? <laughs> and I have melting snow peas. I think those were the snow peas. This is way too close. <laughs> Back up. Placing the peas, you can see the, the vines are kind of starting to die back. So I'm going to be putting more peas in where those are growing now. And hopefully, hopefully they'll be able to sprout in there and I'm not soaking them beforehand we're just gonna shove them into the soil a couple here love some wheat yep. and we're just gonna shove them into the ground there okay so we, those are the melting mammoth melting snow peas are the new ones that are going over here and okay, over here. I don't know. Okay, so I had some radish. I'm letting it go to seed. I'm actually enjoying eating the seed pods and salads. This one got went too far, so I'm gonna let it ripen and save the seeds for that for next year off of those peas. So I think I am gonna oh look at my onions, they just popped out of the soil. These are probably ready. To, I, I think this guy's ready to harvest. Like it's just like coming out. Look at that. These are the red long tropias. <gasps> How pretty. So the other, the white ones are my walla walla sweet. So they better not be coming out yet because they're supposed to be getting big. I was hoping for a big harvest this year. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be putting the other um, peas in here. Hi Dex. And here's the hula hoop you couldn't find. So <laughs> right there. Okay, so I'm gonna just put a few peas at the back. Drop them in. You don't even like peas, so what are you sniffing me for? Stop. He's very upset that his sister went and saw some cats today. Super jelly. 
Okay. And maybe I'll drop some in here too. I think I had some in here going on. Let's push those in. Okay. That's good. I'm gonna make sure I come back in the container. Okay, so the most important thing I need to start today are my cilantro, and I'm just not sure where is a good spot for those. Um, why is it so close? <laughs> Get out of my face! Okay, so actually, you know what? I think uh, the neighbors might have some room there. Yeah, let's just sprinkle some. Let's just try some cilantro. Can you hold those? My trusty, dusty assistant. Hello. Yeah, you're not in the way. We're just going to sprinkle this in. And then I'll come and scratch it in a little bit more. So, I don't know how this planter is doing. I kind of put a few things in there. It, they're not dead. I'm actually just going to sprinkle some cilantro in the flower beds. Maybe some over here. Woo! All right. Cilantro is replanted. Uh, we should get some from that. What? You planning on harvesting that? <laughs> I don't know. The blooms are pretty. Okay. We're going to do the sunflower. Look at that. My first sunflower just opened. So grateful it didn't get knocked over in the storm. So, I believe this is Lemon Queen. She's looking real pretty. So, we've got quite a few um, coming up on that one. And I, they're not going to germinate because I don't think they're going to come up. I'm going to have to stick these into a pot and then transplant them when they get bigger because the ground cover is too much for them. Okay, change of plans. We'll do that. Maybe I'll do that with the okra as well. And then I'll transplant them. But they're not getting fancy labels. Well, they might get labels, but we'll see. I don't know. Okay, beans. Hi, baby. Oh, thanks. Do you want some cilantro? No. Uh, I am just gonna restart the beans where I have the beans so that when these plants are done doing their thing, the next ones will be coming up. So I'm not gonna keep track of which is which. I know that's probably shocking. Ow. Stick with bush beans. The container. So I have Royal Burgundy, which are these. They're super pretty. Oh my goodness, we got a nice big long one right there with a spider on it. Okay. So these are these are really pretty. Uh, so we'll do more of those, and then I have the brittle wax yellow bush beans. I get to be on top of everything. Do you? Okay, so I'm gonna put two per pot, two per container. We're just gonna stick them in like this. Actually, this one I'm gonna do three because whatever plant was in here died or got knocked out or ripped out or something, it's no longer there. Dexter's just eating some grass or something, I don't know. So the others that have plants in them, I'm just gonna do two at a time. I just dropped one. Huh, I'm gonna let that go. Dexter, stop! <laughs> Weirdo. You think we don't feed you or something? Okay. I'm just sticking them in the dirt. Boom, boom, boom. Squirrels are gonna be excited about this. I gotta make sure no one sees these. These are mine. These are mine. I'm gonna put two up here. Let's get um, let's get the sunflowers and the okra started. So we got, <laughs> zip it. So we got uh, some containers. This one is going to be the evening sunflower uh, right there. So I'm just going to the few out. And I'm gonna shove, I'm gonna do quite a few of them. Dax, zip it. All right, 
We're just going to sprinkle them actually and push them. Sprinkle those on top like let's see. the um, red burgundy okra from MI Gardener. These are actually all from MI Gardener. And um, we're going to do two in each. Boom. Boom. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope some of these things sprout and do all right. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.